It was so amazing, you know, because uh, I started out uh, by looking at blood under a microscope and um, I observed all of the things that people did and I saw uh, the various effects that this had on the blood and uh, this just fascinated me and I investigated uh, some very, very amazing people's work and have studied with some amazing people uh, on the earth um, who've had the most sophisticated microscopes uh, beyond any microscope here in the city. Um, there's Gaston, Ni Gaston Naisson's microscope in Quebec. Uh, there's uh, microscopes that Lapinchowski and her daughter in Russia have used. There's the uh, uh, microscope that Chishima from Japan um, has used. And there's a microscope that Gunther Enderlin used. Um, and all of these people are uh, very amazing scientists who have f helped put together pieces of what we call colloidal biology. So this is what we're going to be learning about. But basically, uh, without any fancy piece of equipment, it's possible to be able to look at the body and read the body and get a sense of everything that's going on from uh, the things that's happening on the outside. So uh, our phoenix physician, phoenix meaning rising up out of the ashes, and physician Fastition, fasting, clearing away of debris. In our minds as physicians, there's only really one debris, and we have uh, several non-surgical, non-druggist approaches to healing people, but it basically is putting people on nature's operating table and learning how to pe put someone on nature's operating table. So our Phoenix physicians uh, learn to read the body like a book and uh, be able to get a sense of the theory things that's going on inside and then you learn how to uh, assist people where you are so as you could really be amongst the finest of your kind as doctors beyond borders uh, because it's possible for you to completely know uh, what to do to assist uh, someone heal uh, from some circumstance like diabetes or any condition. So uh, this microscopic investigation into our cells we've discovered that the cell is primarily composed up out of other individual organisms which has its own reproductive schedule and that you and I really are a conglomeration of uh, other life forms called life colloids and colloids of life. Um, our blood is made from the intestinal, in the intestinal villi uh, under health conditions from material uh, that's produced within the intestinal tract combined with elements that's digested from the lungs that's in a gaseous state because blood is a gas, more gaseous. Uh, so um, it's really uh, doing what you can to learn to how to have uh, cleared uh, the body uh, by clearing away debris and what to do to assist someone as they cleanse and primarily to assist a person to guard against any prophylactic shock during the cleansing program and know how to adjust the program in a way that makes it really smooth uh, for anybody that's doing this. And so you will learn how to adjust the program and you will learn how to, uh, the very principles uh, to assist a person to take someone from where they are toward uh, some healing. So colloidal biology is a brand new science that's based on a microscopic investigation of living cells and living things below the level of a cell and that's such a very amazing topic that we're going to be covering in the work as you're looking at the uh, table of contents.